Good afternoon, everybody. Let us consider numerical ability. <coughs> From numerical ability, you will get five questions, of which four questions are of two marks type, and only one question is of one mark type. So put together 4 into 2 plus 1 into 1, 9 marks you can expect from numerical ability on par with any subject irrespective of the stream. Okay. Now what numerical ability focus would be on in terms of arithmetic that is percentages. ratios, averages, application of percentages in terms of profit and loss, application of percentages also in terms of simple interest and compound interest, application of ratios in terms of time and work, time speed and distance. Also, data interpretation. Apart from this, you have permutation combinations. followed by series and numbers or you say number system. You do not have geometry. I did not mention probability because it is already covered in mass, engineering mass. Let us start with ratios. Very simple conflict, very simple topic, but <coughs> as I said some tough questions are also ex expected, but please understand what is the level of difficulty of a numerical liability problem. You have to go through questions from 2010 to 2014 or I mean to say latest gate paper to have an idea about what is the level of difficulty and what are the areas that are covered. Okay. Let us understand ratios. Ratio when you say it is A is to B when A is numerator and B is denominator. Let us consider some problems and then understand few topics involved in ratios. In a class, boys and girls are in the ratio 5 is to 3 respectively. 5 is to 3 
respectively. Which of the following can't be the strength of the class? Can't be strength of the class. Please take down choices. Think a minute to solve this question. In a class, boys and girls are in the ratio 5 to 3 respectively. Which of the following can't be strength of the class? Okay, I am sure most of you would have got this right. Now, when you say boys and girls are in the ratio 5 is to 3, then <coughs> boys could be 5x, girls could be 3x. Now, what is that x? x is a common multiplier, right? So, what I am trying to say? Number of boys is a multiple of 5. Likewise, number of girls is a multiple of 3. Therefore, total is a multiple of total, I am talking about strength. Strength is a multiple of 8, that is 5x plus 3x, 8x, right? 40 is an 8 multiple. 88 is an 8 multiple, 72 is an 8 multiple, 68 is not an 8 multiple. So, which of the following can't be? 68 cannot be the strength of the class. Right? So, you mean to say x is a natural number. x is a natural number. Okay.
Okay. Let us take one more problem. In a class, boys and girls are in the ratio seven is to four, respectively. Seven is to four respectively. If boys are fifteen more in strength compared to girls. then the strength of the class is consider this as a box based question This question is based on the previous one, where we can say number of boys is 7 multiple. Similarly, number of girls is 4 multiple. Therefore, difference is 3 multiple and sum is 11 multiple. So, what I am trying to say is if there are 7 boys, there are 4 girls. Difference 3 multiple, 7 minus 4 sum 7 plus 4 11 multiple ok so with this understanding difference sum that is strength ok <coughs> now if the difference 
3 multiple, sum is 11 multiple, right? Difference is given to be 15. This is the actual value, right? How much this should be? How much this should be? That is 15 into 11 by 3. Fifty-five is the strength of the class. Okay. Let us take one more question. Amar, Akbar, and Anthony share amounts in the ratio 8 is to 5 is to 4 respectively. If Amar's share is $2,000 more more than that of Anthony share Amar, Akbar and Anthony share amounts in the ratio 8 is to 5 is to 4 respectively. If Amar's share is $2,000 more than that of Anthony's share, then find Akbar's share and total amount. Try this problem.
अमर अकबर एंथनी शेयर अमाउंट इन रेशो एट इज टू फाइव इज टू फोर ना वॉट इज टोटल एट प्लस फाइव प्लस फोर राइट थर्टीन प्लस फोर सेवेंटीन What is the difference between Amar and Anthony? Four, eight minus four, right? So let us consider the actual values. Difference is two thousand. Amar's share is two thousand dollars more than that of Anthony's. So if it is two thousand, then how much this should be? right that from there you get total similarly difference if it is 4 anthony share is also 4 if this is 2000 you are supposed to find out akbar share Then how much this should be? Five hundred times. Here also, five hundred times. Okay. Let us take one more problem. Now this, let us take it as next level. Very basic questions we have done. Let us take next level. Four pizzas and X. Sandwiches were ordered. Price of each pizza is twice that of each sandwich. while preparing bill by mistake rates were interchanged this increased the bill amount by 50% this increase the bill amount by 50% find x
ओके पिज्जा सैंडविच क्वांटिटी फोर हियर यू डोंट नो रेट वी नेदर नो व्हाट इज ईच पिज्जा रेट ऑफ ईच पिज्जा एंड रेट ऑफ ईच सैंडविच बट लेट अस से ईच सैंडविच कॉस्ट वन रुपी देन ईच पिज्जा शुड कॉस्ट टू रुपीज राइट प्राइस ऑफ ईच पिज्जा इज ट्वाइस दट ऑफ ईच सैंडविच Now based on this, bill, right? What is the bill? Four into two, eight. X into one, x. You get eight plus x. This is total bill. i would say rather actual bill let us also consider wrong bill what is wrong bill rates were interchanged that is pizza is taken as 1 rupee sandwiches is taken as 2 rupees these were interchanged so 4 into 1 4 2 into x 2x so wrong bill total wrong bill is 4 plus 2x 4 plus 2x right it is also given that this increase the bill amount by 50% total wrong bill is 50% more than total actual bill that is actual bill had it been 100 rupees wrong bill would have been 150 rupees with this assumption what is the actual bill actual bill we don't know but based on these terms actual bill is 8 plus x whereas wrong bill is 4 plus 2x right why am i doing this cross multiplication they are in proportion if a is to b is in proportion with c is to d i mean to say 1 is to 2 is in promotion is in proportion with 3 is to 6 then a into d is equal to b into c product of means is equal to product of extremes or here 1 into 6 it is equal to 2 into 3 that's what i am doing here right okay 100 into 4 plus 2x it is equal to 150 into 8 plus x. 153 is a, so 53 is a, 52 is a, right? So 8 plus 4x, it is equal to 24 plus 3x, or x is equal to 16. So how many pizzas were ordered? So how many sandwiches were ordered? 16 sandwiches were ordered.
Let's take one more bullet. an alloy is made out of gold and silver their weights and rates that is price per unit are in the ratio eight is to three and seven is to two respectively 8 is to 3 and 7 is to 2 respectively if the total cost of alloy if the total cost of alloy is 186 dollars find the cost of silver in it by the way you ignore wastage and making charges gold silver rate followed by weight cost rates are in the ratio i've taken rate first and then weight later that's okay rates are in the ratio 7 is to 2 and weights are in the ratio 8 is to 3 right so let us say 8 to last 3 to last right let us say each to lies 7000 rupees so 8 into 7 56000 rupees right similarly 2 into 3 6 put together 62 this is the total cost right 
Now, out of 62, cost of silver is 6. Cost of silver is 6. Now, this is based on assumption. Now, when you take the actual value, this value is 8, 186. That is 3 times. What should be this value? 3 times that. Cost of silver used in alloy. Okay. Let us take one more problem in ratios. Proceeds to a charity, proceeds to a charity are distributed between old age home and destitute home in the ratio two is to three respectively 2 is to 3 respectively. The amount given to destitute home is divided in the ratio 3 is to 2 3 is to 2 for food and shelter respectively. Food and shelter respectively. If amount considered for food in distributed home is 5000 rupees more than that of shelter in destitute home, find the total proceeds to the charity. 